Unlocking the power of level two and time and sales is crucial for gaining insights into the buyer and seller dynamics of the market. These indicators offer a window into understanding price action. In this video, we'll learn how to set up these essential tools within our Trader Workstation platform. So let's get started. Trader Workstation's market depth or level two is a great feature to be able to see where orders are sitting out on the market. This is something that a lot of day traders use to actually see which side of the order book is a bit heavier. Meaning, do we have more bids to the downside or more asks and offers to the top side? So to get started with adding a level two or market depth to your chart, you're gonna go over to new window up in the upper left hand corner and under general tools, you'll see market depth. Now there are two of these, so I'm gonna add this one first and show you the difference with the other one. So we'll go ahead and we'll add market depth. And you'll notice now that we have the Tesla level two or market depth added to our platform. Now there's another version called market depth trader. I'm gonna go ahead and add that so you can see what the difference is. So I'm gonna go up to new window and I'm either gonna search market depth here or I can scroll down to more advanced tools. Under more advanced tools, I see market depth trader level two. So I'm gonna click that and it's gonna populate the market depth trader level two. So on the left, we have market depth level two and on the right, we have market depth trader level two. The difference between these two is that the one on the left is really only gonna show you the orders on the order book. The one on the right is gonna show you the orders on the order book along with the ability to trade from directly in here. So because the one on the right has more features and abilities, I'm actually gonna go ahead and X out of this one on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it over to the left for now. Now, alongside the market depth trader, we wanna go ahead and add a time and sales. So I'm gonna go up to new window, and I'm gonna add time and sales, and now I can see time and sales here as well. So now let's walk through an overview of what we're looking at here. So what you'll see at the top of this level two or market depth trader is the quote panel and level one data. Here we can see the financial instrument is Tesla. We can see the bid is at 207.51-ish and the ask is at 207.60-ish. We can also see the last price that it sold for and the percentage of change. Here we can also see the low and the high of the day. Now, if I wanna change what I see in the quote panel or this level one data area, I can go to this little tool icon here. So I'll click that and it will bring up this configuration window. Now in this configuration window, I can see which columns are currently showing. Now on the right hand side, I have a bunch of other things I can choose from to add to the quote panel. Let's say I wanna see what price VWAP is sitting at. So I can go ahead and I can type in VWAP and then I can add this to my quote panel or level one data area and we'll go ahead and move this down so that it's at the end. We'll hit apply and then we'll hit okay. So now I can see up here next to today's high is the VWAP. Now below the quote panel is the buttons area. This area is used for getting into positions, getting out of positions, changing positions, and so on. Just like the quote panel, I can adjust this as well. So there's a little tool icon here. If I hit that, it will show me what buttons I currently have. Now let's say I wanna add a button. I can go ahead and click add button. And from this drop down, I can select which button I would like to add. So let's say I wanna add a buy button. I'll go ahead and click that. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up this pop-up where I can adjust what the buy button does. So in here, I can change the size of the order that I'm gonna be placing when I hit the buy button. I can change the order type. I can offset the limit price. I can offset a stop price. I can attach a stop order to it and many other things. And I can also change the color. So let's change the background color on this to green since it's a buy button. And then we're gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna hit okay again. Now I have my new buy button sitting under the buttons section. Now, if I want these orders to be transmitted immediately, I need to check mark this armed section. So you'll notice when I hover over it, it says transmit orders instantaneously. If I don't check mark this box and I hit the buy button, what it's gonna do is it's gonna just send the order to my orders window then I have to hit transmit from there. So if I'm trying to take orders quickly, the best thing to do is make sure this box is checkmarked. That way, when I hit the buy button, it transmits the order instantaneously. Now the next section down is your book buttons. When these are highlighted, it's telling you that you can see these exchanges on the market depth trader level two. Now, if there are certain exchanges I don't care to look at, I can click on one of these buttons and it will go gray. This will take that exchange off of the order book and I click on it again, it will turn blue and it will bring it back to the order book. 
Now, not all of these exchanges will be active for you in Trader Workstation. If you wanna add things like ArcaBook or BATS, you'll need to go into your Interactive Brokers account and request to have these exchanges added. Now, under the exchanges, we have the order window. So any order that you place, you'll be able to see in here, any trades that you've taken, you'll be able to see, and then you can also switch over to your portfolio and be able to see what's in your portfolio. Now, if I want my orders window to be a little bit larger, I can just hover over this dotted line that separates the orders from the order book down here, and I can drag. So now I can see any orders I've taken in here. Since it looks like I have a position going in Tesla, let's just switch to a different financial instrument and place an order on that one. I'm gonna just switch over to Apple. So now here we have the Apple Market Depth Trader Level 2. Now if I wanna place an order, I can either use the buttons up here or I can click on one of the prices currently at the top in the quote panel or in the order book area down here. If I click the bid, it will automatically set me up for a sell position. If I click the ask, it will automatically set me up for a buy position. So I'm gonna click the ask. And what you'll notice is it entered a buy order for 100 shares at a limit price of 195.01, or basically the ask at the time that I clicked it. Now I can go in here and I can change the price. So let's say I don't wanna buy it at the ask. I actually want it to come down and fill me later at 193. And let's say I want 500 shares of this. Now when I'm ready, I can hit transmit. If I wanna sell, I'm gonna click on the bid and this would bring up a sell order. And you'll notice that the limit price is close to what the bid is sitting at right now or the price that I clicked. I can also go into this one, change the quantity and change the limit price. And when I'm ready, I can hit transmit. If you're a day trader that's getting in and out of positions quickly, it's best to arm the button section and use a button that gets you in and out of the position rather than having to go through the steps of clicking on the bid or the ask and adjusting it to how you see fit. Now, what makes the market depth trader and level two so significant is this lower section right here. This lower section is what we call the order book. This is where we can see all of the orders out on the market. So even though the price is at a certain point, we're able to see orders higher in price and lower in price. Orders that are sitting out on the market waiting to be filled. So on the left-hand side of this order book or market depth level two, we have the bids. These are all of the buy orders waiting to be filled. Now on the right-hand side, we have the ask or all of the orders sitting on the order book that are waiting to be sold. The level two portion of the market depth trader divides the orders by color. So each color block on the order book or level two signifies a certain price. So what you'll notice is as price moves from one price point to a higher price point or one price point to a lower price point, the color on the level two will change. This can be used to determine how many stacks of orders at a certain price are sitting out on the market. On the left-hand side of the bid and the left-hand side of the ask, you'll see what's called the MM name or market maker name. These are the exchanges that were previously pointed out up here. As orders are placed on the market, they're routed through different exchanges. So on the level two, you'll be able to see what exchanges they're being routed through. Next to that, on each side of the level two, we have the price. This is split up into tiers based on the price. And again, color coordinated. Next to that, we have the size, which is rounded to the nearest whole number. And next to that, we have the average price, which is usually just an additional decimal. The level two portion of the market depth trader can be customized slightly. If you right click on one of the columns at the top, you'll get a drop down menu. From here, we'll go to configure level two panels. In here, we can see the columns that are currently shown on the level two, including the market maker name, the price, the size, etc. At the top of this is where we can change the colors that are being shown in the level two. So in here, we have the current colors. Some people like to see muted colors or only one or two levels or multiple levels. So this is where you can come in and you can add additional levels to this. And if I add the additional level to this and I go ahead and press apply and okay, you'll notice that I now have the black color block on the level two. This adds an additional level before the colors repeat themselves. So if you wanna know where the orders are sitting on the order book out on the market via the level two or market depth trader, you're going to be looking at the lower half of this window here. And the next thing we have open over here on the right hand side is the time and sales. So typically we're looking at the time and sales alongside the level two or market depth trader. 
This is much more simple compared to the market depth trader. All I wanna point out is that there is a settings wheel at the top that you can click on to configure this. So if you wanna make changes, this is where you can do it for the time and sales. You can add the bid size, the bid, the ask, and the ask size. You can add the volume and you can add view app and so on. I'm just gonna hit okay. And that is a general overview of the level two in Trader Workstation, also known as the market depth or market depth trader. Alongside it, we have the time and sales. Now we all love to customize and add buttons to get us in and out of positions quickly. We'd love to know what buttons you're using in your market depth trader. And as you're getting familiar with this, if you have any questions, drop us a comment below and let us know how we can help.